In this lecture, I will explain what a multicast delegate is and how we can create and use a multicast delegate. So, a multicast delegate is a delegate that has a reference to multiple functions at the same time. When you invoke a multicast delegate, all the functions the delegate is pointing to, they will be invoked. Let's understand this with an example. Here, I have this program class. In this program class, I have this main method. And along with this main method, I have three other methods called method one, method two, and method three. And all these three methods, what they are doing is they are logging a message in the console. So when we call this method one, it is going to log method one called. When we execute this method two, in that case, it is going to log method two called. And when we call this method three, it is going to log method three called. All right. Now, what we want is we want to create a delegate and using that delegate, we want to call all these three methods. So first of all, let me go ahead and let me create a delegate. To create a delegate, we use the delegate keyword. Then we need to specify a signature for the delegate. If you notice, all these three methods has a return type of void and they are not taking any parameters. So here also the return type is going to be void. I will call it simply del. Okay, so here we have created a delegate. Now let's go ahead and let's instantiate this delegate. So in the main method, I will create four instances of this del delegate. I will call it del1, del2, del3, and let's so create a del4. Okay, so these are reference variables. Now what I will do is I will say del1 equals new del delegate and to this i will pass the name of the first method this method one okay and since it is an instance method let me go ahead and let me create an instance of this program class so program p equals new program and here let's say p dot method one okay then let me also instantiate this del2 and again, we will use this new keyword. We will call the constructor of this delegate. And there I will say p dot method 2. And in the same way, let's say del 3 equals new del. And here I will say p dot method 3. All right. So here we have three instances of this del delegate. Now what I will do is. I will go ahead and I will assign this del4 and to this del4 I am going to assign del1 plus del2 plus del3. Okay, del1 is pointing to method1, del2 it is pointing to method2 and del3 it is pointing to method3. So when I say del4 equals del1 plus del2 plus del3, this del4 is pointing to all these three methods. All right. So if I go ahead and if I invoke this del4, it is going to invoke all these three methods one by one in the order in which I have assigned it to this del4. So first it will invoke del1. That means this method one. Then it will invoke del2. That means this method two. And then it will invoke del3. That means method three. Let's see that. Let me go ahead and press control F5 on keyboard. And here you will see method one called, method two called, and method three called. So using one delegate, we have invoked three methods here. And if I change the order in which I'm assigning it, for example, if I say del one plus del three, and then if I say plus del two, they will be invoked in this same order. So now first this method one should be invoked, then method three should be invoked, and then only method two should be invoked. Let's see that. Let me go ahead and let me run this project again. So you will see method one called, method three called, method two called. So keep in mind that the order in which we assign a method to a multicast delegate, it will execute those methods in the same order. So here you can see a multicast delegate invokes the method in the same order in which they are added. It uses first in first out approach. Now, there are two ways to create a multicast delegate. The first way we have already seen. In the first approach, what we do is we create different instances of the same delegate and then we use plus operator 
to create a multicast delegate. That's what we are doing here. We are creating different instances of the same Dell delegate and then we are creating a multicast delegate by using this plus operator. This Dell for here is a multicast delegate because it is pointing to multiple methods. And how are we achieving that? By using this plus operator between the instances of this Dell delegate. Another approach is by using a single instance and then pointing to different functions using plus equal to. Let's see this in action. So I will remove all these codes from here. And let's go ahead and let's create an instance of this Dell delegate. Again, I will simply call it Dell equals new Dell. Okay, and to this constructor of this Dell delegate, let's pass method one. Again, since this method one is an instance method, first we need to use the instance of that class and then we can say method one. So currently this Dell is pointing to only single method, this method one. Now what I can do is I can say del plus equals and then to this I can assign this method to like this and again since it is an instance method we need to use the instance of that class. All right so now this del delegate the instance of this del delegate is pointing to both method one and method two and now if I go ahead and if I say del plus equals p dot method 3 now it is also pointing to this method 3 so if i run this program again by pressing ctrl f5 we should have the same output okay we have not called this del yet we need to invoke it so let's go ahead and let's invoke it okay and let me run this program now so you can see method 1 called method 2 called method 3 called so this is another approach in which you can create a multicast delegate. Now, apart from using plus equal to, we can also use minus equal to. So I can also say del minus equals and let's say p dot method two. Now what will happen is when we use minus equal to, the pointer will be removed. So when we use plus equal to, that delegate will point to that particular method. Okay, so here we are adding a reference. But when I say minus equal to, we are removing the reference of that method. So here what is happening is we are creating a delegate and this delegate is pointing to method one. Then we are making this delegate again point to method two as well. So at this line, this del is pointing to both method one and method two. Then again, we are making this delegate point to method three as well. And then what we are doing is we are removing the reference of this method two. So now this delegate is only pointing to method one and method three because we have removed the reference of this method two. So now if I go ahead and run this program, it should only invoke method one and method three. Let's see that. Let me go ahead and let me press F5. And you can see now only method one is called and method three is called. Method two is not called because at this line, we are removing a reference to this method two from this delegate. Now we can also remove a reference from a delegate when we were using multiple instances. So let me get back the code first. So here we are adding reference to these three methods to this del for delegate. Now here, if I want to remove a reference, instead of using plus, I can simply use minus. So here, let's say I want to remove a reference to this del three. So here you can say del three. Okay. So when I say minus del three, that means a reference to this del3 will be removed from this del4 instance. So now if I go ahead and if I run this program, only del1 and del2 should be invoked. Let's see that. Let me go ahead and let me run this program. And you see method1 called, method2 called because at this line, we are removing a reference to this del3. That means to this method3. So this is how a multicast delegate works. Now, if you notice, this delegate which we have created here, its return type is void. But what if it is going to return some value? So if a delegate has a return type other than void, and if it is a multicast delegate, only the value of the last invoked method will be returned. Let's understand this with an example. 
So here, let me go ahead and let me change the return type of this delegate as int. And we also need to change the return type of these methods. So I will change the return type of these methods to int. And now, from within this method, let's return some integer value. So for that, I will simply use this return keyword. And from the first method, from this method one, I'm going to return one. In the same way, from this second method, this method two, I'm going to return two. And from this third method, I'm going to return three. Now here, let's go ahead and let's use the single instance approach. So I will create an instance of this del delegate. I will simply call it del. Let's use new keyword and let's call the constructor of this del delegate. And to this, let's pass method one. So let's say p dot method one. Okay, then let's say del plus equals p dot method two. And in the same way, let's also say del plus equals p dot method three should be plus equals okay so this del delegate is pointing to this method one method two and method three and all these three methods are going to return some value now which value will be returned when we call this del delegate because it cannot return all the three values right only one value will be returned so what do you think which value will be returned out of these three as we saw in the slide the value returned by the method which was invoked last will be returned here that means since this method 3 is going to be invoked last the value returned by this method 3 will be returned and to prove that let me go ahead and let me create a variable let me call it result and whatever value this del delegate is going to return when we are invoking it that value will be stored in this result variable so let's go ahead and let's simply log that value so here let's say result equals and then the value of the result variable let's save the changes here and let's run this program and you can see result equals three so if a delegate has a return type other than void and if it is a multicast delegate only the value of the last invoked method will be returned and just now we saw that with an example in the same way if a delegate has an output parameter the value of the output parameter will be the value assigned to it by the last method. Let's understand this with an example. So let's go ahead and let's modify our delegate and our methods. So now here the return type, let's set it back to void. And this delegate is going to take one output parameter. So for that, we can use this out keyword. And let's say the parameter is going to be of type integer. And let's call it number. Okay. Here also let's go ahead and let's change the return type of these methods to void okay and here these methods are going to get an output parameter let's call it out int num okay and let me go ahead and let me pass this output parameter to other two methods as well okay and what we are going here is we are going to assign some value to this num output parameter so here i will say num equals one in the same way here let's say num equals two and here let's say num equals three okay now let me remove this line from here so here let's create an integer variable and when i'm going to call this del here i'm going to pass this result variable as the output parameter so here let's pass that result as the output parameter so what do you think which value will be assigned to this result variable to this result output variable again the method which is going to be invoked last and whatever value we are assigning to this output parameter in that method in the last method that will be assigned to this output variable let's see that so when i run this program the last method which is going to be invoked is this method 3 and in the method 3 we are assigning this output parameter with this value 3 so here this result should be assigned with that value if i go ahead and if i run this you see result equals 3 if i change it to 30 in that case 30 should be assigned so again let me run this program you see result is equal to 30 
So again, if the delegate has an output parameter, the value of the output parameter will be the value assigned to it by the last method. All right, so this is all about the basics, the fundamental concepts of multicast delegate. Now, the next question which can come to your mind is, where do we use multicast delegate in real world applications? Basically, we use multicast delegates in the implementation of observer design pattern. Observer design pattern is also called as publish subscribe pattern. So in the next lecture, I will show you how we can use multicast delegate concepts to implement publish subscribe pattern. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.